Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so I'm going to address a question I've gotten a lot recently, especially since I made the Casio Duro video. And a lot of people have emailed me asking, what would you recommend as a first watch, the Duro or the SKX? So that's what I want to dive into a little further here and really give you my personal recommendation. So to start, I'll dive further into these, but um, just disclaimer top level, obviously the SKX 007 I have here is no longer made, so you can't buy that watch. And obviously there's uh, the difference between the mechanical and the quartz. So we're gonna kind of look at the big picture, but I'll dive into those a little more, but just pretend at the top line that those are not logistical issues that you're gonna face, and we're just gonna look at these watches as they are. So diving in first, uh, obviously price. Uh, if you're looking for your very first watch and you're not sure if it's going to be a hobby you like then the duro is the clear winner it's about 50 bucks the skx some of them are going to run you 300 bucks 200 bucks depending on where you are um, obviously you're getting a different and a better watch for that but we're not looking at quality per se at the moment we're trying to get a watch on somebody for the first time to see if watches are something that they're into so price point wise Getting the watch on your wrist for the very first time, the clear winner is the Duro. Next, I want to address comfort, which kind of ties into the band uh, strap. Um, obviously, as you can see, I added an oyster style bracelet to my SKX. So I did not like the Jubilee bracelet that it came with. It was very flimsy. It didn't feel great. It grabbed hair. Um, and personally, I love the rubber band that comes in the Duro. So comfort wise out of the box i would also say the duro is the clear winner the strap that a lot of skx i mean the, the bracelet i always call it a strap i know you guys give me crap for that um but the bracelet that the skx comes on i don't think is nearly at the quality price point that you pay for the watch so bracelet strap whatever you want to call it i give the point on that one also to the duro up next we have overall design and kind of looks of the watch this is obviously a very opinion-based one. I do think both of these watches are gorgeous. Um, personally though, I do kind of prefer the SKX. I think the dimensions are a little nicer on the face. The Duro I like, but the face and case is bigger, but the markers and all those um, you know, small details are the same size as the SKX. So it's a bigger face, but the same size. So it's kind of very spread out. There's a lot of open space on the Duro and I don't really love that. Um, so I would give the design and overall look uh, definitely to the SKX. The loom on both of these is practically the same from what I can tell, so I don't think there's any discernible advantage there. But both are very quality looms, and they both do look very nice at night, but there is no real clear winner for me in that category. Obviously, the, the big, big picture piece here is movement and overall build of the watch. SKX is the clear winner there. It's a mechanical watch. Um, I will, though, uh, preface that saying that my SKX, out of the box, I've never had it uh, brought to a watchmaker because it's not the biggest deal, but it doesn't keep time great. I do lose quite a few seconds per day with it. Uh, not enough to really drive me nuts because I don't wear it that often, but it is still mechanical. The Duro is going to keep better time. It's a quartz watch, but if you're talking overall build quality, movement all that kind of stuff the obvious better watch in that category is the skx also just a little tie on to that uh, availability it is definitely going to be easier for you to acquire a duro over an skx so that's something to take into consideration um, but yes it is going to be much easier for you to buy a duro that brings me to the conclusion here. Um, I knew this was going to be short, but I had a lot of people asking. I thought it was pretty clear in the last video, but I wanted to make this more of an obvious comparison. Um, I think if you are first getting into watches and you're looking to buy a watch for the very first time, your money is way better spent on a Duro. You don't know if you're going to love it. You don't know if you're going to keep wearing it. You may want to add a few uh, lower priced items to your collection. Uh, the SKX, for somebody who has never worn a watch or has never gotten into watches, is potentially a large investment for some people. And without knowing that you're going to love it, I couldn't in good faith recommend you spending that amount on something that you don't know if you're going to like. And that I think out right out of the box, some of the parts on it aren't that great. And you're going to have to maybe make some additions to it to really love it. So 
I think a great starting place for everyone, as I previously said, is the Casio Duro. Um, I'll have a link below so you can buy one if you want it. Um, but yeah, I, I would recommend anyone looking to start, get a Duro, then grow into an SKX. If you can find one, the 007s, they're great. Other than that, um, Seikos are great, but have that maybe be your second watch. Everyone always calls them the entry point, but I don't think that needs to be. Um, grab a Duro and I think you're going to be really happy. I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching.